Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some Subnautica. I am so excited to be playing this series on the channel. I've had a couple of requests for it lately, and so we're gonna check it out, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go through and hopefully do a whole run through of the original Subnautica game, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this game, so I'm really excited to be able to do this series. All right. <laughs> all right there we go beautiful we've got um all of our voice recordings day one spawned in I love it. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Food and water, which is always good. Um, we are going to need stuff as usual. I like that we have all these solar power cells. I'm going to take this because it's always useful. All right. Let's go ahead and climb the ladder. Oh, lovely. All right, beautiful. So, uh, that is the spaceship we fell down on. I love how this fish is just like jumping in and out. That's amazing. Let's just jump down here and check it out. Beautiful. I love Subnautica, guys. It is an absolutely stunning game. I'm super excited to be able to play this on the channel. It's been a long time since I've been able to do a P series that isn't ARC, and uh, I'm just really looking forward to it. All right, can I pick up a, whatever this is, it's a peeper, let me get it, there we go. I love it. Need to gather all the fish. I also need some air. Awesome, okay, so goal number one is going to be to gather some items and start doing the whole crafting thing. Acid mushrooms are super useful for batteries. Now this game has been out for quite a while, so this is um, far from being a new series here, but uh, I am still excited because I've not played it before on my channel. Nope. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I've not played it before on this channel, but I'm really excited to be able to bring it to the channel because um, I do love the game and it was requested that I do a full playthrough of it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, hopefully it turns out okay. Hopefully people enjoy. I'm going to be discovering a lot of things here in the beginning. Got to get those bladder fish for all the water. Now I do need more limestone outcrops and I can probably stop holding that fish. All right, where's more of those? I'm going to need a lot more. There we go. Oxygen. Ugh. Luckily, we're not too far from the surface. Okay, beautiful. I'm so excited about this whole game. Oh my goodness. It's been a while since I've played uh, Subnautica all the way through, so I'm really looking forward to being able to do this and to... Uh, seeing more of the biomes because I don't think I ever actually did like a full exploration of the biomes in my first playthrough. I kind of just got where I needed to go to get through all of the um, all of the actual content and beating the game. So it'll be nice to do a little bit more exploring on this series and uh, really enjoy some of the beautiful, uh, I guess, scenery and landscapes that the game devs have put in here. All right, let's see what we can do with some titanium now. We should be able to make a few things. All right, open the fabricator. I'm going to make all of my filtered water first because you should always use bladder fish to make water. They're entirely useless when you cook them. All right, and then we'll cook some peeper because we are a little low on food. Ooh. All right, what do I need? Uh, I need titanium, so 
We'll use the scrap metal to make titanium here. And then we should actually be able to start making some basics. I can make copper wire batteries, but really what I need is a good oxygen tank and I'm gonna start needing some tools. All right, what do I need for tools? Battery, silicone, cave, sulfur. All right, no, come here. All right, I can make a battery. Let's make a battery. I can at least make my scanner. Ooh, that's gonna be useful. I will need to find some silver ore as well. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, uh, now I do have my scanner, which is excellent. I don't super need that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and eat some stuff here. And yes, I think we're okay. I'm going to go ahead and keep the scanner in that slot that it's currently in. I do have a bunch of new blueprints I can kind of look at here. I do like to go through and make sure that all of these things are unhighlighted because it does drive me a little crazy when I have all these notifications in my PDA log. There we go. All right, we're going to get a really cool animation here. Cute fish. I love it. Nice. Okay. Eh. I want to scan things. I'm not quite fast enough. All right, I'll scan this weed. <laughs> Beautiful. Very useful, I'm sure. These rabbit rays are a little too fast at the moment. Okay, so I do need to go ahead and build a survival knife so that I can start um, doing some proper surviving. I am going to go ahead and pick up metal salvage. I guess I'll scan it just for the information. Um... Yeah, because Subnautica does have a really deep uh, storyline, which is really cool, and I actually love collecting all of the information on it. I'm headed for those yellow cluster things on these creep vines, because you need those to be able to make a survival knife. So let me just swim up this way. Alright, and then hopefully I don't get attacked by those little dudes that are swimming around. I'm just gonna pick a bunch of these and then get out of here before I get bit, which is always the challenge. Ugh, we're so slow. Beautiful. I do love all the different biomes that are on here and I'm really excited to go and explore some of them a little bit more than I have in the past. Although the kelp forest is always kind of, eh. The kelp forest might actually be one of the ones that freaks me out the most. Um, okay, we needed silicone rubber. Let's grab that. Power cell, don't need that at the moment. Yeah, let's cook that. Might as well cook the fish. And then I don't have any salt yet, so I'm good there. All right, we can make fins. Perfect. And then I'm going to need to make more. All right. <laughs> cool. Okay. Now we have a knife. Hmm. Love that. Okay. Cool. So now we have a knife which is going to be super useful. That's gonna help a lot. And from here on out, we should be able to have an easier time getting everything we need to make, like the repair tool and the habitat builder in particular are gonna be super useful. So those are the things I wanna make next. Um, and we can also start working on getting glass and silver ore for that O2 tank. Oh, it's nice and dark now. It's okay, it's not creepy at all. <laughs> oh man, it's so dark. Okay, I am going to slash this creep vine. 
Uh, here we go. Go back to the pod. I do love Subnautica at night. Like, some of the glowing is absolutely beautiful, but it is, like, a super dark game at night, so it does creep me out a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, I do need cave sulfur for that repair tool, which is kind of the next thing, but I do want to make some fiber mesh here because I know we're going to need that soon. Um, and I am going to make a little bit more silicone rubber as well as some lubricant. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Cool. And I'm going to go ahead and store some of these items so that they're not uh, clogging up my inventory here. I'm going to eat that before it gets old, and we'll drink a little water. And that's probably no good anymore, but I'll just eat it to get rid of it. Whoops, there we go. Okay, cool. So we need cave sulfur, which means we're going to have to venture in and find uh, the areas where those little cave fish are trying to, like, blow you up. So I do need to find a cave system and try to get those. I do want to catch more fish. Aha. Okay. There we go. I mostly want the bladder fish because the water that they provide is so useful. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet four. All right. That is not what I wanted to do. Give me that. Okay. <laughs> Forgot that's how I drop things. All right, we'll scan that because it's useful. Um, and let's go in here. There we go. Beautiful. So he blew himself up, so we should be able to grab cave sulfur from this. I'm going to scan some stuff, too, because it's fun. No, I hear him. Ah, there was another one. Alright, looks like he was over here. I'm actually going to pick up sulfur from him as well. Never hurts to have a little extra. Um, I'm always happy to have extra cave sulfur. You don't really need a ton of it, but it is useful to have around just in case. I love scanning all of the life forms. I think that's one of my favorite things to do on uh, this game is actually just discover all of these beautiful new things. There we go. We'll get a few acid mushrooms. Oh, limestone chunk. There we go. Let's get up here. Ugh. All right. Oxygenated. Let's head back. Now, we should have everything we need to build a repair tool, which would be excellent because I do want to get the radio working so we can get into some of the storyline here. Uh, yeah, we might as well actually make some water while we're at it, since I did catch him. Okay. Make the titanium. And I should... I need my silicone. I put it in here. There we go. Tools. Repair tool. Perfect. All right. I love it. Now we're actually going to be able to uh, <laughs> shock ourselves. Let's repair this, get our pod working, get it all lit up and uh, looking nice again. Beautiful. To grab another fabricator uh, medical kit because it's super useful. And let's put the radio on. Oof. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. All right. Excellent. So, uh, now we should be able to start discovering where the other life pods are, which is going to be awesome. And, yeah, we can continue moving on from there. 
And it is now daytime again, which is just uh, beautiful. I do kind of want to search for a couple of um, like potential items and blueprints that we can make before we go ahead and end off here today, because I do want to get some of those things started in terms of crafting and gathering a little bit. There we go. Searching for the wrecks. There's always a couple of good wrecks nearby. No. Don't blow me up. I can always hear them trying to blow me up, and it's great. All right, is there anything useful over here? Can I scan anything? Is there literally anything I can scan? Does not look like it. Maybe there's something over here. Oh, a counter. I can scan this counter. Huh. I need air first. Man, I really can't wait until we get better um, oxygen tanks. That is one of the top things on my priority list here. Okay, what do you got for me? Nothing? Literally just the counter. Alright. Because, you know, it's important to be able to make these nice looking counters for your base. Oh, nice. Sea Glide Fragment. This is what I want. The Sea Glide is going to make it so much easier to get around uh, if we can actually get the blueprints for it. So those are really what I'm looking for is Sea, gu uh, sea Glide Fragments or uh, possibly even Sea Moth Fragments would be really nice. Perfect. Get the Sea Glide. I love it. Let's pick this up. And we should actually be able to make a Sea Glide pretty quickly. Oh no, that's an infected, uh... That stalker does not look well. He looks quite ill. What's over here? This'll just give me more titanium. Yep, there we go. Give me that. Resources. Okay, I'm gonna cross this little... area here. And we'll head back. Cool. Okay, cool. So I'm going to see what we need to make the Sea Glide, and hopefully we can make that before we end off here today. I think we do need batteries or power cells, if I'm not mistaken. I think it might be power cells, which are a little bit more complicated than batteries. But we will see. All right. Yes, battery, lubricant, copper wire. Let's see here. Battery. And I do not have enough copper ore. Okay. Cool. So I do need copper ore, but I do have lubricant. So let's go see if we can find a little more copper. I would like to get a sea glide before we end off. I think that would be a really good way to end episode one of our Subnautica adventure here. Perfect. That worked out really well. Sometimes I really have to search for the copper. Like a lot of times I only get titanium when I want copper. Okay. Copper. I need all the wire. And give me my lubricant so that I can make this thing. Perfect. Yes. Beautiful. I am so excited, guys. We have a sea glide. This is going to make it a lot easier to get around um, and explore and actually get some more stuff uh, really quickly here, which is going to be awesome. Does make it a lot easier to get resources from the creepvine forest as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be a really fun series, and uh, I'm really excited to be playing Subnautica again, guys, and hopefully all of you are as well. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off there, guys. If you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.